Okay, we are going to have a very chill stream today, I think. I'm going to be doing some sprints. Well, sprint, maybe plural if it, uh, you know, doesn't take too long. I don't know, we're going into unexplored territory. So I looked over my old videos and the ones that I've, um, you know, the sprints that I've done already in DCSS. And, um... Well, let's just take a look. We've done Red Sonia. We've done Line Sprint, which, if I recall correctly, I actually splatted in and had to do twice. Whoops. Um, we did Violet Keep of Minkari, and we did Thunderdome. So I don't, uh, other than Meat meat Sprint, I, um, I don't know how any of these work. So um, I'm going to be going in with my eyes, uh, eyes closed, so to speak, you know, totally blind just like you guys, um, or maybe not like you guys, maybe some of you guys have played these before, but, um, a sprint, a sprint is just, um, just a mini game, just kind of a tiny little, little challenge, fun, fun little thing, a little side quest type thing in DCSS, which, uh, I think can be a lot of fun. So, um, without further ado, um, you see I'm on my tournament account here. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and... Let's play Trunk, why not? Hopefully it doesn't break anything too badly. Hey Asimov, what's up, man? Um, oh, hey Tony, hey Prismap, hey Juicy Pear. I guess I should greet some people. Adort, what's up? You know, not to ignore my my friends here. Alright, so Red Sonya, we've done. Violet Keep, we've done. Hello, Quick, how you doing, man? Ten Rune Challenge, we haven't done. Fed Hoss Mas Mad Dash, we haven't done. Ziggurat Sprint we haven't done, Thunderdome we have done, The Pits we haven't done, uh, Arena of Blood, that's the one that's known as uh, Meat Sprint, we haven't done, although I do, I, I have an idea of how to play it. Um, it's kind of, kind of a frustrating one, I think. And then this, this is Line Sprint. So um, I guess I'll just ask you guys, what do you guys want to see me play out of the ones that I haven't done yet? Because I don't have any preference. I mean, I was just going to do Fed House Mad Dash, but... Um, that's just because it had a funny name. I mean, I'm I'm down for whatever. So, again, we're looking at Ten Rune Challenge, Fed Haas Mad Dash, Zig Sprint, uh, The Pits, or Arena of Blood. And, uh, again, I'll, I'll be happy to do any of these, really. You want to see me attempt Meat Sprint? Okay. Um... Well, we can, we can give it a shot. Uh, this is definitely not one I'm going to be able to do in one shot, um, and I said I was going to do random characters, but um, this this one is such that you kind of do have to cheese uh, what you're what you're doing here. Like you have to very carefully pick things that are good for the challenge. So uh, not not a felid. I'll kind of explain this as I go along. Let me think. I think uh, you probably want somebody who's immune to torment based on what I remember, so, uh, I don't know, uh, I wonder if Neo, I wonder if Neo vampires are good in this, we're gonna find out, um, and then, by the way, we have this, this new, this new, uh, selection screen here, uh, what, what should we pick, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, uh, I think we're gonna pick, I'm gonna pick Warper, because Warpers start with a scroll blinking, hand axe, although it doesn't really matter, Okay, um, whoops, I didn't mean to take a step here. So we start out on this little exit. Don't pick something that starts with a shield, that's for sure. So we pick up this Axe of Woe. First thing you'll notice is, is that it's plus infinity. Um, we'll wear the Axe of Woe. Take a couple steps over and we'll convert to Mach Lab. Okay, so we're worshiping Machleb. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so here's no CDDA. Is this a, a sprint? It is a sprint. Yeah, this is called Meat Sprint, otherwise known as the Arena of Blood. Um, so we have this axe. It's plus infinity. It has infinity accuracy, infinity damage, which of course means that if I swing on something, it uh, it dies. So we're going to train axes. Um, I'm fighting. All right, so 
Notice this is not an orc, this is a bag of meat. Um, your first swing will be slow prior to 27 axes. Oh, that's true, so I should trade nothing but axes. Um, so the, the orcs are bags of meat, they have a plus 9 war axe and a plus 30 ring of slaying. The meat berserkers, not ogres, but meat berserkers are, well, berserked. And they have a plus 30 ring of slaying and a plus 9 battle axe. Essentially, we just don't want to be hit by these guys. So we're going to swing on the bag of meat. Um, I think we want decks so that we can dodge more attacks. <clears throat> um, this is weird. If you were bloodless, you could transform into a vampire bat. Oh wait, no, that makes sense. This is, um, bloodless is just what they call the, the two, in the two form vampire. Um, that's, that's the other form, so that's fine. It, I actually haven't really tried the, um, the new vampire in its final form yet, so this should be interesting. So we level up a bunch. Uh, these things are worth a ton of experience. Imagine the smell. Alright, so the meat berserker hits us a couple times and we just immediately die, so we did that poorly. Um, as Tony said, we swing slowly and those guys are zerked, which means they're hasted. So let's, um, let's try that again. Again, shrunk. Arena of Blood. I'm going to do the same thing again. Actually, we're going to pick unarmed because that will that will make us take less time to uh, pick things up. I'm not sure why the screen is sort of staying black here. I have to hit escape a few times for that to for that to work. So we'll grab the axe. We'll wear the axe. Convert to mock lab. Arena of Blood is so boring. I, I don't know. I don't think it's all that interesting, to be honest. I, I think I'm going to have to agree. Okay, we're going to take a, a step. Oh, shit. <laughs> I accidentally stepped in the wrong direction. So they, they get two moves for each one that I get because they're technically hasted all the time. So you get one-shotted uh, at the very beginning. You're not quite so fragile later on. Supposed to be a really big text crawl, but it displays black at first now, so you have to enter through it. I see. Yeah, I remember that. I guess it's um, it's like a glitch or something. Maybe it's not playing nice with this new character creation menu. Hard to say, really. Okay. I see that a bag of meat just sort of appeared next to me, so we'll kill him. That's useful. So we got our first set of level ups. Now we're going to suck a lot less. Uh, I forgot to only train axes. Whoops. Okay. Kill both of these guys. That's better. Alright, we got ourselves a game here. Um, Demon Spod could be interesting. You get a bunch of mutations the moment you kill something and level a bunch of times. Yeah, that's true. Uh, although Torment immunity seems like seems like the important thing to me. Although I guess as an alive vampire we don't get that, do we? Okay, let's take a step away, you see, so that this Meat Berserker ends up next to us. This one's going to get an attack on us, probably. But that's okay, because we have enough hit points to actually survive it now, you see. Be sure to grab the rings. Yeah, that's the thing, is I was going to say we need to head off to the east, I think, the west, the north, and the south, because there are items in those spots, so we're trying to trying to do that. Uh, there's it's a fire resistance ring, which is really really important in this. All right, so the large bag of meat is a two-headed hoker that has a plus one hundred ring of slaying. So you can see how quickly they start doing damage to us. Um, we only have have leather armor on, so it's not like we're getting some GDR here. Sinf to the north, that'd be useful. Although we have, um, we have Sinf automatically on account of being a vampire. So we don't need that. Alright, so, yeah, large bag of meat, two-headed ogre is inner-fired. For some reason the explosion's not big, I think it's supposed to be. That's weird. 
Um, I'm just going to turn auto skill training on since it really doesn't matter what I trained. Okay, so we have a destroyer, which is the vampire knight. Uh, and you'll notice the stuff is getting stronger, like plus 200 ring of slaying. That's capable of one-shotting me, of course. So there's a, there's a bit of RNG involved in this. Like, you can just never let yourself get attacked, uh, which is not really all that feasible, if you think about it. I don't mind if the orcs attack me, though. Uh, this is interesting. We've got the Servant. Um, so that's Harold. He doesn't have any of his abilities. He's got a plus 130 Ring of Slaying and a plus 9 Glaive of Flaming. So I don't think he can kill me, so we're going to step towards him. Ah, crap, he stepped away. Sucks. Ouch. Okay. Um... Sculptor of Flesh, twist, they have Twisted Resurrection, okay. Alright, so the Servant, because he stepped away from us for some strange reason, actually has, has created quite a problem for us, but now we see why I picked the... Now we see why I, why I picked the Warper, because I get these scrolls of blinking, so why don't we just blink away? Let's blink right here. Get a couple kills, we get our heals in there. I kind of have to stand and fight is the thing. You know, I don't even really want to risk fighting this large bag of meat because it's uh, based on a two-headed ogre, so it gets two attacks with plus 100 slaying. Well, that can do 200-some damage, so not, not so good for me. And like I said, some of these things just straight up, you know, can do almost my entire hit point total. Dexterity... Um, I'm going to run the risk of going close to this guy, and of course I almost die, but then if I swing one time I should get all my hit points back, see? So it's kind of an interesting take on Crawl. Uh, like this is not how the game typically works. What's this Hydra? Eight-headed Meat Hydra? Some, okay, so the Eight-headed Meat Hydras, among uh, other things in this challenge, they have Torment. Um, we're actually not... We're actually not torment immune. I need to exsanguinate, but it takes it takes time. So, vampire in terms of like neo vampire was probably the not the best pick I could have taken. <laughs> All right, the tyrant, aka just a lich, uh, has haste, airstrike, summon horrible things, and abjuration. I'd be curious to know exactly how much damage that airstrike does. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many hit dice this monster has, and I seriously doubt you can look them up in Seam. And I guess I forgot to sign up for Seam on my tournament account, so we're just going to have to wing it, I think. Let's just kill this stuff. What's this now? Greater Mummy and Accursed. He's got Smiting. I assume it's just the 17 damage like usual. There's our Fire Resistance Ring. I guess the Accursa doesn't, it only does 35 damage, that's, that's pretty good. So we're trying to get, trying to get over to this ring. What's this now? Oh, it's just a regular T-Mons, okay. Problem would be that enemy with Death Curse, probably. Uh, yeah, we haven't run into him yet, but I, I vaguely recall, because this, this is the one sprint out of the list of the ones that I quote-unquote haven't done that I actually have tested, like, a way, 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 way into the past. <laughs> Several versions ago I tested it. Grab the ring. Um, we'll go ahead and wear the ring. So that's cool. We'll kill this stuff. Kill that. Now, I wish we had, like, a digging wand. Something kind of funny in this sprint is, like, if you play a Formicid, you can just dig your ass into the wall and be relatively safe until, like, super endgame stuff shows up and digs you out. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I, what I would like to do is have, like, just a moment of time to uh, make, make myself dead 
but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen for me, you guys. Like, I don't, I just don't think it's possible. Formosa can rest until the boss, but then I don't know how to win at that point. Memorize Pog. You could get Pog. I, I don't think it would really save you. Ouch. What damage did we take here? Oh, we got, we got, uh, tormented by the dread. See, I told you guys, the torment is huge. Now there's there's stuff with dispel on dead later on, but I, I'd rather I'd rather deal with that for sure. Uh than torment. What's this guy? Wretched soul, bolt of draining, dispel undead. See there it is. Um I assume we're not immune to dispel undead. Okay, so we're gonna hide in the corner. What's this now? An observer. So there's our fire. There's our fire magic guy. All right, let's let's roll the dice. It's time to exsanguinate. Oh, we're bloodless. We did it. You're the worst of both worlds. Yeah, you would think that if you were alive, you'd be immune to dispel undead. But I I don't know what all Ebering did with that. Anyway, this is good. We have less hit points, but at least we're torment immune. I'm very surprised we were able to do that. So now uh, these guys are really not that big of a deal, are they? Although I still don't favor our chances, so to speak. Um, poison Arrow, Poison Cloud, Venom Bolt. That's easy enough to deal with. Okay, what, is these, what do these guys do? Flesh Lord. Okay, it's haste and slow. So... I'm trying to think, like, this kind of sucks because it's like he could slow us and there's literally nothing we can do about that. <laughs> so he's also got a plus 400 ring of slaying, so we can't risk letting him get next to us. So we kind of have to just, uh, you know, let him come to us if we want to play it optimally and, and in such a way that we can't die. Hey, Mentice, how are you doing? Uh, so we did we did get slowed. That's that's no good. By the way, I'm not even bothering to um, uh, I'm not even I'm not even bothering to pick up, for example, um, well I guess I did pick it up, but like the ring of slaying or whatever, it doesn't do anything for me because I already have infinite. Hold on, I want to macro. I want to macro my spacebar to five like I usually have it. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, the, the slaying isn't going to do anything for us. So we're going to need to be... Honestly, this game, to me, feels more about uh, understanding speeds. Like, your your speed while slow, their speed while hasted. Compare those things and set up a situation to where they just don't get an attack on you. Because, you know, something swings at you with a plus 400 ring of slaying, you can die. So, fell it starts with one ring of 27,000. You think that's impossible? There's a ring to the south. Isn't it just a Sinv ring? Which we already have. I mean, I can go make my way to it. But, um, I kind of like this corner. Okay, so you notice how we're stepping away from the Flesh Lord? Because we, you know, if we had stood still, he would have gotten an attack on us. Whereas, we kind of set it up to where we were less likely to get hit by him. Can't take a single hit from these dudes. Hey, Banana Ken, how you doing, man? Yeah, it's rough. This is this is a rough, rough customer. Right, let's take a step away. Let's take a step away. Again, Flesh Lords can one-shot me, so we really got to be careful. I want to say that Sinv is bottom, and I know someone said it was on the top, and we already found an R fire on the right, so... The best ending. I was unaware that there were separate endings. I thought there was just you lose or, or you win. Is that is that not is that not true? Okay, we're gonna shout. Ah, all right. So I didn't realize we were slow, uh, and so it's only it only takes one little tiny mistake. So we were slow, and I pressed the dot button. Okay, and uh, 
when when you're slow, and this is an interesting thing about DCSS, when you're slow, uh, your waiting button does not actually take one turn. It takes 1.5 turns, uh, and that's extremely meaningful in a game like this where, where you know, in, in meat sprint, it's one shot, one kill, largely. Well, not with all the monsters, but with many of them. So, yeah. That's an issue. Let's jump in on this guy's game real fast. Do a little drive-by on COD here to subscribe to, to Seam and uh, load that sprint back up. So I'm not going to declare defeat uh, for, for a while. We're going we're gonna to keep trying this. Like I think we can do it. Um, I'm trying to think, though, what is the optimal... What is the optimal way of doing this? What's the optimal species for it? Certainly Ogre. Yeah, Ogre has the most hit points. That's pretty cool. But um, it's subject to torment, which sucks. Um, DS has some good mutation, maybe. I mean, unironically, Fel is probably not half bad because of the extra lives and the uh, enormous dexterity. You know, having huge evasions seems like it would be quite nice in here. Mummy? Uh, mm, I don't I don't think mummy. I ignored my potions before, but you actually start with a pretty decent collection of potions in this game. You won't get cleaving with Felid. Ah, good point. What did I run before meat sprint? Uh, today, nothing. I uh, I started with it, but like I've, I've done line sprint. I've done Minkare in the past. I mean, I've done... Uh, what do you call it? Red Red Sonya. Those are all on YouTube if you'd like to see them. It's both Felid and Formicid of Monclub. Formicid could be interesting. We could try to cheese it real fast with Formicid. I'm not. I'm not too. Uh, I don't know. I'm not too optimistic about that happening. Centaur ought to rock with the speed and all. See that that I had thought. But check this out. Formicid might be our bag because that's going to stop me from getting slowed. Um, and that'd be, that'd be pretty sick. So we're going to try a Formicid. We're going to try to cheese it a bit. Um, we're actually going to start as a fighter so we can have our shield. Unarmed combat. Pick up the axe. Wear it. Ah, uh, crap, we're going to die. Wait, maybe not. Okay. He was, he's fast. I thought we were going to die. <laughs> Alright, so we, you know, Formicid is doing just a, an awful lot for us. And I know that people use it to meme this game by trying to like uh, hide in a in a kill hole or whatever for for half the game, but I would argue that this is this is uh, among the best species for it, not because of that, but just because of the shield, man. It's really really good. Uh, you get pretty good hit points as well. Um, I mean, you you are immune to slow. No blinking is rough. That's true. That's true, but you only get one blink scroll anyway as a as a non warper. I guess no haste and no zerk could be rough. I don't know though. Like the SH just adding an extra layer of of blocking. I don't you know, I, I need to look this up, but I don't I don't think that the amount of damage or the accuracy on the enemy, I don't think that affects your chances to block it. I think it's just like a straight chance. So I mean look at that, I bet we could have died here. Stupid Hydra. There we go. I didn't bother to take my skills off automatic, but that's fine. Does an enemy slaying affect probability to get through SH? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Mentis. I am not sure. Um, I am not sure about that. Possibly, but I always thought it was just like a flat chance. Uh, like the way it was explained to me, and I, I haven't looked this up, but the way it was explained to me was that like you you block a certain number of attacks per turn, and you're less you're less likely to block attacks based on how many attacks you've already blocked um, that that turn. Uh, maybe that's how it works. Maybe not. If if doesn't he or man man was around, they'd probably know. Um, I tend to not like to look these things up, even though I probably should. All right, we've gotten a little bogged down here which is a shame. 
this may end up being a restart. I want to dig, but digging is slow. Demon Spawn could be good. If we could get the thing that lowers the line of sight. Oh man. Oh, we digged. We digged and it almost punished us. Well, it did punish us, but it didn't, didn't quite kill us. Okay, we're, we're hanging on by a thread. We got our hit points back. We're in our wacky little not-quite-a-kill-hole-kill-hole. Kill hole. Uh, okay, this is rough. Could definitely die here. I guess I'll drink a heal wounds. Ouch, 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 okay. Ouch, ouch, oh, they got me. So it's that torment, man. That torment really, really, really wrecks us. I think that if we want to make this this whole uh, formicid thing work, I think we are going to have to bail immediately. Because, like, the... I don't know, man. I wish there was a way... I tell you what I wish. I wish there was a way to get to necromutation. You know, if you could become, like, a necromutation formicid, I think that would be ideal. You won with a demon spawn? Well... I mean, like I said, if we could cut line of sight, that'd be pretty great. Um, I don't think powered by death would even be that helpful, because the regen is just... I mean, it's okay, but in this situation, the way that you die generally is like a one-shot or a two-shot octopode with eight plus 200 slaying rings. When you already have infinite slaying, but you want more... Yeah, I don't know. Um... I'll just play an Abyssal Knight and uh, take myself into the Abyss, haha. -ha. Play a version of the game with a Death Knight background. <laughs> hmm. Fire Cloud Torment Immunity. Uh, there, is, there is no such thing as a Demon Spawn with Torment Immunity. There is a Demon Spawn with Torment Resistance, which is sadly not, not quite the same thing. Could use a one-handed axe and shield with that much slaying for much faster attack speed. Faster attack speed would be pretty handy. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess you could do that. I guess you would still one-shot everything, too. Basically, I mean, I don't think there's anything in here with more than, like, a thousand hit points, so... Uh, I guess I could see I could see your argument there. See, that's what's interesting about these sprints, is that there's, um, there's a lot of theory crafting that goes into it, you know. All right, let's play a demon spawn, I guess. We'll try it out. Um, <laughs> I could play an Epistle Knight, try to get to max piety and corrupt. Not that that would really do anything useful for me, but it um, could be interesting. Like, something that is interesting is we can, at least on a Formicid, because we can hide, but maybe even on somebody else, um... You know, you could take something and actually memorize something in the starter book. You know, Wizard for Blink. But you got to get the time. you got to make the time for yourself to actually memorize it. Because it takes, I don't know, what, like 10, 15 turns? Could you just abyss scum? I doubt it, but we can find out. Here, we, we're a Lagonu guy. I seriously doubt it'll let me go to the abyss. Like I would bet you that it that it doesn't. Got to be careful because we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna get we're not gonna get any um, healing. You know, so I got to be extra careful about what I'm doing here. Can't do abyss night. It sends you to abyss, and getting out of abyss sends you. Sends you to normal crawl. Uh, well, let's get to max piety and find out. If we does that count as winning meat sprint? If you go into normal crawl uh, and you have this X, <laughs> and then you just use it to win the game, does that does that count? Or is that cheating? I mean, honestly, I I bet they've just disabled. Um. No, they just disabled it. See, look, if I look at my if I look at my granted powers 
There's there's no you can send yourself to the abyss. It doesn't um, doesn't let you do that. So no such luck. <laughs> we can corrupt though. There's got to be a way. You know, I, how about this? No, you could send yourself to the abyss unless they've taken that out entirely. You could corrupt your weapon with distortion. You know, start with some kind of weapon, corrupt it. Abandon Lagonu and then take the thing off over and over and then that sends you to the abyss. But if they went through the trouble to take out the send yourself to the abyss ability, um, I suspect they went through the trouble of, uh, you know, Stopping you from being able to have uh, disto disto unwield abyssings. I mean, surely, right? But yeah, we could we could corrupt if we wanted to, except we don't have the mana. We only have four mana. Wonder if we can banish. Ninety three percent. Ninety three percent chance to banish. We we do have regen. I don't think it's going to be enough to help us uh, to help us beat a meat sprint without the help of my clip. Let's see, we got hooves, we've got um, repulsion field, regain health from kills, and we're fire resistant. Huh. Crap. Uh, crap. Ouch. Didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. X. Okay, there's there's no way. Um, <laughs> there's no way this will work. I guess I could drink a potion of magic. There we go. There's our corruption. How do you guys like it? Fire cloud immunity is great if that's where this is going. It absolutely is. 100% of the time, if you get RF, you're going to get fire cloud immunity. Um, that's just that's just how it works. Unless it's not just RF by itself. If it's RF from your scales, then then not necessarily. So you can take a swing to wait for 0.7. Um, yeah, I was going to check that, but we don't actually have 27 axes yet. For some reason, I didn't train axes because uh, I wasn't paying enough attention. But anyway, let's um, swap to Mockleb here. This is ridiculous, by the way. It looks like we're attacking at speed one still. Like um, here, let me do it real fast. See, let's let's watch this time. One, and then we'll attack. Uh, and then we'll put auto training on. Oh no, it is 0.7. Okay. Flood Killer says this is pretty dumb, lol. I I, I mean it's kind of meant to be dumb though. Are you are you talking about the are you talking about the sprint or the fact that I have a corrupt up right now? Because I think it's hilarious that I have a corrupt up right now. I would no, I would love for him to abyss me as God Wrath. That sounds like a nice vacation. Dexterity, both to be honest, <laughs> yeah, well, all my boys are pretty much gone, um, all right, what do we got, oh, hell yeah, we got robust, we actually got the dream combo, which is, um, you know, we, we got uh, robust plus health from kills, we also have our missile from that repulsion field, although I don't think that does a whole lot for us. Regen works. Well, no, our health is coming back from... Our health is coming back from... Mockleb right now. We swapped, you see. We would be dead as hell if we hadn't swapped to Mockleb. There's no question. Look at us losing all these hit points, all these hit points from... Uh, from Torments, though. I mean, there's no way... I don't see how you would survive, um, even with like perfect positioning down in the bottom right or bottom left or whatever. I don't see how you would survive this without tournament immunity. Hey, blokes, four months. Thanks, man. Much appreciated, buddy.
In retrospect, N is a good video game name. <laughs> Darkness is better. Yeah, I would I would agree that darkness is. Um, I would say darkness and then torment resistance would be the ideal uh, mutations to get on a on a night stalker in this particular scenario. But I mean, I, I don't know. I really insist. I think I've got to insist that uh, we're gonna attack point at point seven speed. Oh, are we dead? Nope. Yeah, I've got to insist. I really do think that. Um, Torment immunity is is the path is the path to success here. Oh, we're alive at, at four hit points. It's so funny how swingy this is, though, because I mean you can come back so quickly, you know, to full hit points if you're so inclined. If you just do the right you know, if you kill enough guys really quickly. So it's like you can be about to die and then and then you're fine, you know. Like this. It's kind of it's kind of working out. There's really uh no such thing as, as stabilizing, I guess. In in the meat sprint. Oh, uh, we're done. There's no way. There's no way to survive now. I guess I'll swing. Oh, we're at one hit point. Sick. They removed Blink from the starting wizard's spellbook? Did they really? What do they get now? When, when did that happen? Is that a trunk thing? I've not heard of this. Anyway, we died. Oh, you mean for the sprint. Interesting. Couldn't you just play a warper and get blink that way? All right. Uh, yeah. No, I I really think you got to be torment immune um, for this to not be like a total crapshoot. And may, maybe maybe with maybe with the demon spawn darkness and torment resistance um, and maybe a couple other goodies, you could possibly make it happen with a demon spawn. Go ghoul, he says. Well, the ghoul's going to need to spend time eating. I don't know if I like that. There's a DS mutation that blocks half of torments. Yeah, that's true. The resistance isn't isn't quite how I was making it out to be. It's not like resist every um, torment a little bit. It does just block half of them. So that's, that's not half bad. I mean, that's okay. I mean, our only paths to being totally immune to torment are ghoul, Mummy and Vampire. Um, and Vampire's a little bit awkward and probably not ideal. Demon Spot is among the strongest, but pretty RNG. I mean, I feel like Deep Dwarf would be um, probably doable. You know, you get your hit points, you get, you get high magic resistance, so you're less likely to get slowed, possibly even can't get slowed. Uh, you take Torment damage, but less than normal species due to the fact that you have inherent RN+, plus, and I think Deep Doors have like a racial resistance to Torment as well. I mean, for the same reason, Gargoyle might be okay, although Gargoyle's main benefit is that they have the AC, which does absolutely nothing for them uh, against something that, that has like 400 slayings, so that's kind of silly, I suppose. What about Spriggan? Um, well, virtual immunity to MR effects... Well, can the, can the Spriggan even carry the Axe of Woe? You know what? Let's test a Spriggan. Let's find out if the Spriggan can carry the Axe of Woe. We'll make him a Warper. What? Did I... Did I just go into regular trunk like a moron? Whoops. Well, this is fine. I'm on my turn and it counts, so it's not like this is a streak game. We'll just quit. <laughs> Whoops. Sprint, Arena of Blood, um, Spriggan, okay, and uh, Warper. The Axe of Woe. Okay, it's not too big for me. 
Malcolm Streak sniping himself confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Alright, axes. So this is interesting. We're going to be very quick. We're going to have high evasion. We're going to have uh, high MR. I mean, at first glance, you think this is a terrible combo in a, in a challenge like this. Because um, of the hit point problem. But with the amount of speed we've got, we're, we're a speed demon, you know. I could see this working, I guess. Hellfire will be very annoying. It sure will be. I mean, it's it's kind of working out here. <laughs> We're trying to. Oh god. We're trying to make it to those uh, to those rings, or at least one of them. The ring of RF. Yeah, we absolutely need that RF ring. There's there's no way this character wins without it. Ouch. Almost tied to that fire. Cool thing is I can walk towards berserk things and even if it's two squares away, it doesn't matter because um, I'm so quick at moving. Oh god. Ah, we just got hit. I guess I can't count on the 0.7 speed. If things, if like a berserk thing's two squares away from me and I swing with, uh, with the axe of woe, um, the point seven speed, like I said, it's just like he's moving a little faster than that, so he can uh, move forward and still hit me, even with the quick attack. Hey, Legend Destroyer, what's up? This is called a sprint. Um, if you go online and you look, if you look to the right of like trunk or point two three or whatever, you can click the sprint button, and you've got all these little mini games, right? And I'm doing something called Meat Sprint, which is what it's called colloquially, but the actual name of it is Arena of Blood. And boy, it is it is madness. Walking is faster than swinging now. That's true. Yeah, I don't know this this whole this whole sprint strikes me as like uh, I don't know. It strikes me as RNG, but it also strikes me as a bit of a puzzle. You know, like there's definitely some some tactical elements to it, but I I don't know. I don't I don't see this as the kind of challenge you could just win. You could you could do a called shot and say, well, I'm going to win this challenge today, because um, I think there's just there's just too much RNG involved in it, um, which is not to say it's not fun, but it is it is uh, you know it's got it's got some interesting aspects to it. Let's let's leave it at that. Um, let's try a felid. This should be interesting, right? So we get our plus twenty seven thousand ring of slaying. You can attack one thing at once. You eviscerate the bag of meat. All right. So this is this one's interesting because uh, we can attack way faster, right? Like incredibly fast with our unarmed, and we get our extra lives. One punch cat. That's right. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we have unarmed, fighting and dodging, mastered. Let's just turn on auto skilling. I mean, handle this for me, please. There we go. This is easily the worst sprint. Yeah, uh, honestly, adored. I think I'd probably agree with you. You know, because it really does, it feels, well, it depends what you mean by worst. I would say it's the most tactically uninteresting, I think. Uh, I don't think, I don't know, I don't, I don't think there's a lot of, like, consistent strategy here that can make you not lose this game. Uh, I think, I think that, like, once you reach a certain point, there's like, there's like a skill uh, floor, or, or a skill, there's like a skill ceiling 
that is not very high, in my opinion. At least we're attacking at point, point 0.5 now. It's not bad. Oh. Can we make it? Can we make it to the... to the uh, ring. I'm gonna go ahead and burn one of my blink scrolls. But yeah, I like. I think I like the other sprints more because it's, it feels like more of a tactical puzzle, you know? It feels less like a crapshoot. Ah. Uh. We're surrounded as a cat. This is perhaps not so good. Baraki for hop. Yeah, the hop could be useful, but I mean, I think moving slowly would be pretty painful otherwise. Let's blink again. I'm going to grab the ring. Hell yeah. See, this is interesting, because if I keep myself surrounded by these 30 Ring of Slaying guys, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, technically they can kill me, but it's very unlikely. Um, so I have to wonder if, like, purposefully keeping myself surrounded by these guys is perhaps, is perhaps a move, you know? Because you wouldn't be able to do this ordinarily uh, on account of the fact that you're you're using the axe. Oh god. But then this happens. Then then you get you get the old torment and you immediately get taken down to four hit points, so maybe not. A felid exclusive strat appears. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh huh. This is interesting. But well, we're gonna die. Oh, we didn't die. Interesting. Somehow we are yet living. 500 hit points on the dread, 400 on the large bag of meat. Let's swing on the dread, I guess. Getting healed less than I would like. Having an idea of how much certain things heal you, and I think it's hit dice based, um, would be would be handy. I can't believe this character's still alive, by the way. <laughs> what if you just punch things as a mummy? I don't know, I guess I guess you would need to, first you would need to get some really powerful rings to be able to one-shot things. Um, I think you'd be better off with the axe. All right, so we died, but we get sent away. Now it's supposed to send us somewhere safe, but because the game is a, is a big liar, <laughs> it did not send us somewhere safe, now did it? <laughs> Uh, we're dead again. Did we get our level back? Or our life back? We actually did. Mummy fell and deprived MVP. <laughs> Alright, so we have we have an extra life still. This this has become kind of interesting, I guess. How fast are we gaining lives back? Could this could this be the move? I just need to kill things faster than they're killing me. Um, to get my lives back. Ouch, ouch. This doesn't look like it's going to last very long. Bolt of Draining, Dispel Undead. Let's... Okay, the Meat Beast sounds like a good target. Trying to get hit points back here. Ouch, poisoned. Um... Berserker it is. Okay, we're dead. All right, zero lives. I'm just curious, because everything seems to be worth so much experience in here. You would think... You would think that um, we'd just be wrecking everything in here. Let's go ahead and haste. You know, you would think that we would be getting lives back really fast, is what I'm saying. Oh, shit, we died immediately. I was hasted, too. I thought I would have time to attack and then attack again, at least. That's lame as hell. 
I don't know though, the, the Felid plan is a little promising. What do you guys think? Is that, I mean, the extra lives seem like they, they are a little bit promising for this sprint. Maybe they adjusted Felid life acquisition. Possibly, but, but what's interesting there is you, you can only have two lives at once, right? Um, and I killed bros, I killed bros, I killed bros, and then I, uh, I was at level 27, and then I died, and, um, did I, well, did I gain a life back? I died three times, right? So at some point, I gained a life back, and it wasn't really very much time. I'm gonna try this one more time, at least. It's only interesting if you can somehow avoid the smite damage. I wonder if there's any... Any early game spells, any starter book spells that would perhaps uh, stop that from happening. I mean, I guess maybe um, maybe Mef Cloud works on some of this stuff. That's kind of silly, though. Huh. Oh man, if we could get old grips, <laughs> but it, but everything has like 500 hit points. There's no way that it's really that helpful, right? Maybe Artificer for Enslave, but. Again, doesn't really do a whole lot for us. I'm just trying to think of any wonky spells, even ones that we could get in like a wander start that would turn this game on its head a little bit. Oh well, let's go Chaos Knight. That way with our wrath we'll have interesting things happening to us. But for real, I mean, I, I do wonder, uh, not on a not on a felid, but like with the Chaos Knight start, here's something that crossed through my head. Would it be possible, um, would it be possible to get items that way? You know, because if you could find, if, if Zom, if Zom gifted you some kind of like sick, nasty artifact with a bunch of resistances or something on it, um, I could see that as being very... Uh, meaningful, so to speak. So we almost immediately have two lives. Even though we're not even level 27 uh, yet, and that's just how felids work, right? Ouch. Okay, we died. That's fine. Let's head off west. Yeah, weirdly enough, I think I think uh, Torment is doing more to me than the Smite is. Another death. Did we get a life back? We did, so we got a life back already. Maybe the true meta is staying low level as the Felon, because I think you get lives back faster when you are low level. Yeah, there it is, two lives. Damn, that's that's interesting. So we've gotten lives back just super, super fast. Get lives back way faster before 27. So I wonder if I should be letting myself die on purpose um, so that I don't reach level 27. Meth could work otherwise. See, I don't know how to even check. Um, well, okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to see... <laughs> Bag of meat. Oh shit, they're actually in the um They're actually in the learn DB. So apparently the basic bag of meat has 30 hit dice. So that tells me that by the way, bag of meat is the little orcs, the easiest one. So that tells me that everything in here probably has uh really, really high hit dice. Um so Mef Cloud's not a play. Nice uh, nice call there, Bad Fragonator. Getting owned, we're slow, that's fine though. They didn't have high hit dice, you wouldn't get that much healing from Muck. That's also a good point. Whoa! That's interesting, we just swung on the Meat Beast who has a thousand hit points and despite our 27,000 Ring of Slaying, 
it did not die, which is a thing uh, that can definitely happen, I suppose. Two lives left. We're level 27 now, unfortunately. Bloat Sprint. What is, what is Bloat Sprint? Oh, you mean like Sprint and Bloat Crawl? I would like to be a merchant and bribe everyone. That sounds great. Worshipping Gozag in here would not be too bad, because at least you would get the distract. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing so hard at uh, this this felid, um, you know, life and death sort of mechanic, where you die and it's supposed to send you somewhere safe, but there's just nowhere safe to send you, <laughs> and so you know you get you get this nonsense instead. Uh, I see my demise. I see my inevitable demise coming. <laughs> Okay, four deaths, one life. Oh, jeez. Wow, we have we have one hit point. We have five hit points. Living on the edge, man. Sometimes, even at full pied, it seems like you don't get healed, which I guess is something that I knew. But anyway, here we are. Zero, zero lives left. Oh, look at that range. Look at those range attacks. We were we were bolted. We uh, The bolt actually missed us or else we probably would have died. We were tormented. And we were also fireballed for an enormous amount of damage. So there's just... I don't know. Uh, the more I play this, the more, the more I think there's just a certain amount of RNG going on here. I think I'll try this one more time. And then I think we're just going to admit defeat because... <laughs> I really do think this is an RNG heavy challenge, um, and maybe we can try it again sometime, but I kind of wanted to try to play some sprints that are a little little less heavy on the RNG. Uh, I think I'm going to go with my original assumption that, that um, immunity to torment is pretty much required, and that means we're going to go for mummy, I guess. A little less heavy on the RNG, like doing zig sprint really fast. I think I'd prefer that, to be honest with you. Like, I think I think that would be a more tactical experience than... I, I shouldn't even say that this is not tactical, because it is. Um, you know, it's really, it's really not... It's really not like a... It's not like a brain-dead experience, like I'm suggesting. Um, or like it may sound like I'm suggesting, I should say. Uh, it's just... Oh, shit. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Okay, we'll try that again. But, um, I mean, you can see me doing little, little adjustments, you know, being very cognizant of my positioning and being very cognizant of my speed and the enemy's speed and so on and so forth. But with that said, I mean, there, there's only, there's only so much, there's only so much you can do, man. Getting decks every time still. I still think optimizing for... Uh, for evasion is proper here. Although, if they're... It, it does occur to me, I suppose, that if they... <laughs> if if they have uh, so much accuracy, it really doesn't matter how much evasion you have, you know? Oh, right, mummies... I just remembered, mummies are vulnerable to fire, which is meaningful in here. We'd have to get both rings to really not get screwed. So ghouls, maybe ghouls are the answer. And you just take the time to eat every so often. That's a great question, Bad Fraginator. Probably because it would be broken as hell. Well, no, the dex is meaningful because there are dudes who are... Oh, uh, well, we just died. There are dudes who are casting things like Bolt of Draining. I shouldn't have stepped into that stuff. I got a little cocky there. What do you mean, eat? I mean that uh, ghouls have to eat corpses every so often, or else they'll rot. I guess it's probably not that meaningful in here. But, um, well, let's, let's test it real fast, I guess. Ooh, 
I mean, I probably won't even survive to the point where that's necessary. <laughs> Okay, so we kind of get the best of both worlds with the ghoul. We get the uh, torment immunity, but we don't get the RF minus from uh, being a mummy. Sprint lasts at most 400 turns, and the only hit point recovery you have is Machleb. All right, fair enough. I guess it isn't enough time to get hungry, is it? Random. Random rot uh, probably would only account for like a couple points of even that, so. You're right, you're right. I mean, already I feel like I'm having a much safer time. You saw that there was a Hydra there, and in this game, Hydras can torment you. And I'm just kind of like casually wrecking everything. It feels, feels real good, man. So, I mean, Torment Immunity is definitely crucial, I think. Now, we may stop having such a grand old time when big dispelled undead enemies show up. You escape from the dungeon with the Axe of Woe, so I count that as an off-screen win. <laughs> do you mean that you just left as soon as you came in, or do you mean that you, you got the bug where it stuck you in the regular dungeon? Because honestly, having Axe of Woe in the in the regular dungeon is just hilarious enough that I think it should count. It should count as a win. Okay, come on. Oh, this is great. Here's a good fighting spot. I mean, look at this. One, two, three. Only four spots next to you. Of course, I just got shoved away from my beautiful spot here. Um, I tell you what, though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that ring. <laughs> Put it on. Still have two scrolls of blinking. Imagine if instead of the orb of Zot, you got the axe of woe. That'd be hilarious. And then, and then it becomes meat sprint. Only you have to like run through the meat sprint monsters to get to get upstairs. That's amazing, actually. <laughs> I mean, it would take some tweaking, but I, believe it or not, I really like that. That doesn't even sound like a meme idea to me. That sounds awesome. Okay, I think we've gotten further than, than we've ever gotten. Sounds like an April Fool's prank. Well, some, sometimes things that start out as jokes can actually be really, really good ideas, believe it or not. Uh-oh, uh here comes my inevitable doom. We've been slowed. I, uh, I'm not sure what slowed us. Let me see if I can... Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is the worst, uh... <laughs> this is the worst because there are death curses. I forgot about this. Um, you slaughter something joyfully. It was invisible. Um, you feel extremely nervous for a moment. You feel yourself slow down. So, I mean, I really do insist, like, there's, there's two things that make this game difficult, and that's torment and uh, slow. And if you could get rid of both of those things on the same character, uh, you would have a super easy time. I guess we attack at speed one. When we're slow, that's okay, I guess. Oh, the Meat Lord has descended. Oh, uh, well, we got further. So if the Meat Lord descends, if we kill him, if we, if we find him, hey boys, we might win. Uh, if we find the Meat Lord, and I think he shows up in the center. Oh, wow, this is, that, this is the weird zoomed out map. Um, no, we kill the Meat Lord, and he has the orb. He has the orb. So if we could just get a hold of that then I think, I think we can leave and win. Uh, so we got to make our way to the center. But it's no easy task. Because we've got to fight through all this really tough stuff. Ideally, my slow ends. 
I'm tempted to haste, but I don't know I don't know how far away my boy is. The Meat Lord isn't the final boss. Well, I'm not interested in getting the the fancy secret boss. Yeah, I think it's time to haste. Fast plus slow. Ah. Where's the meat lord? Oh, there he is. There's our boy. Not Despotter, mind you, but the meat lord. The cringe lord. You know, I, I will have to say this. Um, I just want to say something nice about this, uh, about this sprint. The descriptions are just appropriately gross as hell. Uh, I actually really, I can tell that a lot of um, a lot of care and love went into the descriptions. Are you guys reading this? I'm not going to read this on stream because it's really long, but um, it's good. <laughs> it's it's solid. Um, anyway, we cannot let him hit us because he's got the uh, he's got the twenty seven thousand ring of slaying. So he will he will kill us immediately if we let him get a get a hit on us. He summons Shadow Fiends. My god, how horrifying. I wish I was hasted. And not slowed. I kind of have to let him come to us, but he's backing off. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, baby, baby, we're next to him. Goodbye, Meat Lord. You dissect the Meat Lord like a pig carcass. You have destroyed the Meat Lord. You will die a champion. Alright, so does that mean I win? Or... Oh shit, I hit the top. I hit the wait button instead of the pick up button. Now he's got... He's got the Ring of Slaying and the Scepter of Torment. Where's the orb? Oh, the secret boss has the orb. Alright, so we, we quote unquote, we won. Um... Wear the ring? I could, but then I'd have to stop doing stuff. I'd rather wear the, the Scepter of Torments. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather have Synth than anything. So there's a secret boss, I think, that comes in, and I assume he spawns in the center. Is that is that right, I wonder? Because, like, right now I could go, and I could go to the top, and I could try to get my Synth ring. Um... Or I could just chill out next to the entrance and hope that the secret boss shows up there. I think I'm inclined to do that. Wow, you guys, the minute that I play Ghoul, we we, we, we win the game. A vial, what's this now? Miasma Breath. Oh yeah, this is the guy that... He confuses you, that's so sick. The orb of Zot will be placed at your feet. What? Well, I was standing, I was standing right here. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, I'm I'm dumb. That message could have been a little bit better. Okay. Well, we may lose now, except we have blink. We can blink right to the exit. Oh no, our blink will be uncontrolled. <laughs> uh, oh no. The orb effects are fully in play, my friends, and I'm confused. Oh, GG. Alright, so... I didn't know that the orb shows up right at your feet. I, I, wish, I wish the message would have told me that. Um, I killed the meat lord. I'm considering this a victory. <laughs> you know, um... Well, no, you can't. You can't blink to the gate out, uh, bad fragonator, because you get the orb effect. So you actually end up with a random, um, random blink at that point. So what you want to do is you want to kill. You want to kill the meat lord. Uh, ideally, as close to the exit as possible, if you can control that, because otherwise, like as soon as you pick it up, everything on the floor is going to make a beeline towards you. Blink to the exit, kill the meat lord. There, right, exactly, um, and then just pick it up and leave. That'd be ideal. Um, we ended up getting confused, which is what killed us. Um, 
I don't know. I feel pretty good about it. I feel like I feel like we came close enough to winning that uh, I've I've demonstrated the sprint. Um, wow, Wesley, that's quite an entrance. What's up, my dude? Uh, did you hear that a guy got uh, thrown out of a tournament and completely uh, cucked out of his uh, well-earned tournament reward by Blizzard because he said something in support of Hong Kong protesters? Um, which kind of goes to tell you that Blizzard is a uh, an evil company and you should not give them your money. But, um, whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm pant. <laughs> right. Um, I guess I wouldn't wouldn't surprise me that much if I was banned for saying such things. But um, yeah, I mean, it is it does sound it is kind of weird that like American countries uh, or American companies rather, you know, from from the from the country with ostensibly the most freedom on earth um, are going out of their way to to defend a government that is, uh, you know, quite literally killing people and harvesting their organs. But um, you know, maybe maybe I'm just a silly guy with silly ideas. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep streaming. Let me stop the video here, because uh, I like to split up these sprints into the different, the different ones. So, um, you two people, look forward to the next one. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.